Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red ABC. And today we are checking out the knife that apparently surprises everybody on how small it is the first time they see it. And you know what guys, you're pretty much gonna have to include me in that group as well. We are checking out the CJRB Malia. Now the Malia was designed by Swags. Of course, you know Swags from Guys Talk Knives, Smoky Mountain Knife Works was designed by her in honor of her very very good friend who was taken from this earth way way too soon in life but let's check out this little honey of a knife it, it is I, I i'm digging it it's small but it's a fun one the black g10 on this one red accents mm -hmm. yeah i'm definitely definitely digging the black and red. Now, I tell you what, guys, to be perfectly honest with you, you all know I like my red knives. But red, or excuse me, black with red accents, it just might, it just might eke out the red knives, I'm telling you. Now, this one, you can get this one in the black, you can get it in red, and you can get it in, it's either white or jade, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I like the black one better than I like. The other one is red with black accents. Well, it's actually got red thumb studs too. But I, I like this one. I like this one. Full G10. Well, not full. What do we got there? About th two th a third. A third of a G10 backspacer there. Lanyard post. Yes, indeedy. Deep carry pocket clip. <gasps> Recessed pocket clip screws. Yay. I did that in another video and... I think it was Jake from Bearded Gear. He had to have a chuckle at that. But seriously, I, I mean yay. Definitely yay. Um, it's little things like that. The little touches like that that just really... I, I appreciate it. I most certainly do. Uh, handle as far as the, the construction. It's done very, very well, guys. You know, it, everything is chamfered really nicely. Uh, everything, including... The pocket clip screws, the body screws, yep. They're countersunk in. The pivot, I mean, the pivot sticks out, but not a whole lot. Uh, yeah. Construction, very well done. Let's check about centering. Yep, centering is right on. Now, dual deployment method. You got two thumb studs there, of course. And it's front flipper. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I will be honest with you with this, too. This one, it kind of caught me, caught me off guard, and I think it had to do with my timing because it is small. Because I went to close it the very first time, and I did not get my thumb out of the way. And it got me. Yeah, it did. But you know what? It, it works just fine. Dual thumb stud. Let's try there. Thumb stud. Boop. Yep. Really, really snappy little knife. Either way. Now, once it's open, really cool little Warncliffe blade. I love this look of this blade. AR RPM9 steel. That is Artisan's proprietary steel to kind of, I guess, give us some relief from the D2 fatigue that so many people are talking about now. First, we want D2, and now we're tired of D2. So, <laughs> but it has been used quite a bit. I, I certainly understand. But nice little belly on the blade. Kind of got that whole rhino horn swedge going on it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a... They say it's a... It looks pretty much just like a satin finish on it. I know some place, one place it was listed as like a sand polished. I believe was the term that was used. But I like the grind lines on it. Jimping. Yep, it's got some. Yep, it works pretty darn good not overly aggressive but we'll call it just aggressive enough if it was any less it probably wouldn't work all that well but yeah there you go you can kind of see it it works though uh the choil definitely a sharpening choil not a forward finger choil but you can get up there if you absolutely have to but you're definitely going to want to keep that pressure back there on that G10 because if you don't, you might get bit. 
but as far as grip goes, I mean, and size, I mean, you can just absolutely get a wonderful grip on this knife and just put it to work for you. So put it basically in that utilitarian type role. Yeah. Yeah, it'll work. So we said it's small. Let's see the specs. What do we got? <laughs> Five and a half inches. Yep. It's a little one. It's a little knife. Five and a half inches total. You're looking at a handle length of, man, you're pushing just about three. You're just over three, three and an eighth. You know, that's going to give you a two and three eighths inch blade-ish with about a two, almost a two and a quarter inch cutting edge. You know, so definitely uh, where blade restrictions are enforced at three inch, you're definitely under it with the Malia. So what am I going to do? So let's let's look at size comparisons. I'm going to back it off here a little bit. I mean, just for the heck of it, we're going to do it. Yeah, a lot bigger. I don't think that was any surprise. So let's go with our bug out. Bug out's a little closer, but it's definitely <laughs> quite a bit bigger than the Malia. So I'm thinking, what do I have that could be a good size comparison? The shuffle. The Kershaw shuffle. That's pretty darn good. They are right about, give you a little bit better there since we got the PM2 out of the way. Yeah, really good size comparison. If you guys have a Kershaw shuffle, well, that's pretty much the size of the Melia. But I have another one here, just cause y'all know we like our damn design knives here on Big Red EDC. There is the damn design gin. And looky there, the Malia is actually bigger than the gin. Very cool, right on. We got one that it's bigger than. And guys, I'm not cracking on it that it's so, that it's so small. I'm really not. You, if you've been with me any length of time, you guys know I love the gin. I like, I like small knives. Why do I like them? Well, when I can get a grip on it, I mean, I am locked into this grip, and my pinky here pretty much acts as a brake if it were to move back, but yeah, it's not moving back. My finger is locked up in that finger groove for, the, for your index finger right there by the liner. As a matter of fact, we have really good access for our liner. Yes, indeedy. We gotta get a weight, though. Let's see how it stacks up. What do we got here? Ounces, 2.3, 2.3 ounces or 64 grams. Just for the heck of it, we'll throw the bug out up there. It's 54, pretty sure it's 1.9. Yep, 1.9 ounces. So a little bit heavier than the bug out. She's a little hippie. We'll just say that. Nice swell in the palm. Fills the palm pretty well. I mean, there again, it's a small knife. Those of you with larger hands, I know. <clears throat> excuse me. I know, Peter. Hashtag stop making tiny knives. I know. I, I hear you, buddy. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely falls into that category. For the carry, yep. Nice, deep carry clip. Nice fifth pocket knife. I mean, you could really pocket drop this little, this little guy. It's... It's a fun little knife, guys. I really do. I do like it. It's made really well. It fits in my hand. Even though it is a three-finger knife, I, I've just got a wicked, wicked solid grip on it. There again, if you want to use it more in a utilitarian fashion, you definitely could do so. Even like so, get your thumb way out there on the spine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. You can control this knife, just get an excellent grip on it, and control it, and it's pretty much going to do whatever you want it to do. Three-finger knife for me, not necessarily made for those bigger hands, but still a fun, fun little knife. Now, like I said, this you get it in black, you get it in red, you get it in, it looks like white here, and I'm pretty sure it is, but it very well could be jade. It says green, so I'm guessing it, that must mean... Yeah, natural green, so it is jade. Okay, kind of a jade G10. 36 bucks. Not bad. Not bad for that little knife. You know? Not bad at all. The crew, the review crew. Guys, we're going to give it 
for what it is, we're going to give it an 8. Uh, we're not going to give it an 8.5, and that might be a little bit unfair, but we're going to give it an 8 because of the size, because that is going to limit the people that are probably, you know, can, we'll say comfortably use the Malia. It's definitely not a dig on it. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't have the gin or any other of these knives if I really didn't like the smaller knives. So, good solid little knife. I liked using it. I liked hanging on to it. Uh, it, it was it was fun to use. Um, lighter use because of the size. Yeah, yeah. Nice little belly on the blade though. So, but really appreciate. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video like I normally do, but this is a pass around knife. So huge shout out to Artisan CJRB for sending this one out, and of course. Thank you very much to the Apex Pass Around Group for the opportunity to check out the Malia. Thank you guys very much for checking it out with me today. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to y'all. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.